What's up, you two? Valeo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. Today is August 11th, 2018. It is going to be my outing number 111 of this year. And in this video, I'm going to be doing another Eurotaco Micro Finesse Collection challenge, all right? So if you guys are not familiar, I started to bring the Aerotaco products here on the channel a few months ago. And since then, a lot of people actually have gone out there, bought the products, tried the products, and loved the products, right? I got so many different models here with me for today. I got here the Killer Hopper, Fat Assassin, Euro Grub, Stonefly, Curly Peed, Anisoptera, B-Vibe, and first and foremost, I would like to thank everybody who went out there and actually bought some products, okay, and gave it a try. Thank you so much for giving my sponsor some love and support. And those of you who really haven't tried it yet, I really recommend you to go out there, you know, visit the website, get some for your fishing session, try it out, because these things really do work, okay? Make sure you use my promo code as well, right, so you can save some more money as well so 95 percent of the community they have been telling me good things about aerotaco but there's always that five percent that is like actually pretty skeptical about the soft plastics you know what i'm saying and they actually dared to come here on the youtube channel and actually tell me that i have been rigging these videos can you believe it been rigging these videos yes they come they came here and they commented and they said I was going to places where the fish is easy to catch, right? Locations where I go to and any lure can catch any fish, which is utterly BS. I don't want to use, you know, heavier words. We're trying to keep this PG-13, right? But I mean, come on, guys. You people know that every time I come out here to shoot a video for my sponsors, right? It is a public body of water. I mean, I don't even have a car, folks. So if I can get here by public transportation, you can come here by car. It is accessible, right? Everyone can fish. Fish are not that easy to catch in certain places, at least not as easy as you folks think. And to prove my point today in this video, I am fishing one of the most heavily pressured bodies of water here in Philadelphia. I'm talking about the FDR Park the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Park in South Philadelphia, mostly known as Meadow Lake, right? <laughs> locals know it, and many locals already gave up on fishing this place because the, the over-harvesting that happens here is definitely no joke. A lot of different species of fish are taken out of this watershed on a weekly basis, not to mention that the fishing pressure is very, very high. People fish this place every day, and during weekends, I'm not even going to talk about it. So, you know, the game plan for today is to catch any fish, really, in this place. I mean, chances of getting skunked over here are so high that I don't even talk about species. I'll be happy catching anything out of this place. I just tied on a little Anisoptera on a 164-ounce jig, and the challenge begins. Well, let's see how many different species, or let's see if we will be able to even catch a fish out of this place. Stay tuned. All right, let's go over here first. This is one of my favorite spots. Oh, brother. Look, see, this is what I'm talking about when I talk about fishing pressure. You guys see these little marks here on top of the water? Those are top water marks, you know? That means that today, I mean, these look pretty fresh. That means that today someone already came here and someone already fished it top water, right? And you never want to fish a spot that someone already fished before. I mean, sometimes you have no choice. But well, anyways, let me find some spots here and try to catch some fish. Oh, got one, got one. No, don't get off. Oh, he got off. It was a little bass. No! <laughs> no! That was the first fish of the day! Whew. You guys didn't really get to see the brutality of this fishing session, but I've been fishing this place for about two hours now. 
I, I walk all around the main pond. I'm at the back canal now. I'm rocking a 132 ounce jig with just a B vibe. And it has been brutal. It has been brutal. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to downgrade, but before that, I'm gonna give a few more casts. Oh, had a hit. Don't tell me even the 164 ounce is too big for this finicky fish. Oh, got one, got one. I got something. Oh, that's what's going on. It's a crappie. First fish of the day, guys. First fish of the day after switching to the 132 on the Euro Grub. Turns out to be a black crappie. The Pomoxis Nigromaculatus. Not bad, not bad. Hey, man, this is still better than just a bluegill, right? Let's take a shot, release this guy. Two and a half hours. All right, folks, final view of our first fish of the day. Oh, man, it was not easy catching this fish at all, okay? I would like to emphasize this is such a tough place to fish at, but this is just the beginning. Now that I downgraded, we're going to catch some fish. Oh, got one. What is it? Oh, second species of the day, the bluegill. Sooner or later, a bluegill had to show up. Whew, thankfully, man, even catching a bluegill out of this place nowadays, this size is pretty tough. No joke. So, Euro Grub working pretty well. All right, little fella. All right, I'll put you back. Don't worry, okay? EPF got you, got you covered, boy. Ooh, okay. It was ready to go. I like when you guys stack up. Got another one. Yeah, the bluegill are definitely stacked here. They're probably stacked at this gate. You know, the current is flowing in right now, so they're just chilling getting whatever passes around as food smart move smart move well, at least we are having some pinfish action i ain't complaining after two and a half hours of catching nothing whoa whoa son whoa get it right here boy look 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 on the top son oh that was a bass i think was going after the dragonfly well, something just splashed inside of here too. That's crazy. It's coming in. Sorry? It's coming in. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Definitely some good mugging skills. Right, let's put another B vibe on, see what happens. Yeah, brother, I know this spot is pretty tough to fish, huh? Yeah, so I hope you enjoy the spot, man. Catch some fish, all right, man? All righty. So you said you were going for carp? Yeah. You know, I get it. Hey. How's it going? Hey. How you doing? This is, a, this is incredible. It's <laughs> a phenomenon to see you. Uh, well, you know? thank you. I appreciate yeah, it, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how's it going? High point of the day. I'm doing? Hal. This is Joe. Hey, nice to meet you, yeah. fellas. Hey, so, nice to meet you too. So, how was it today? Oh, it was rough. rough. Oh, it was rough. We okay. started at your section that we've seen on YouTube. Okay. Over there between the column and that big wide building. Gotcha. Yeah. And, I saw uh, one carp over there today. Yeah, so, nothing over there, you not know, over so there. we came over here, unfortunately all this silt, uh -huh. you know, we're dealing with that, but... Uh, and nothing? Nothing, we didn't get anything, not even any bites to this. Oh river. man, yeah. usually I do really good I know, over there. I saw you pull out like four or five carp. Yeah, yeah, day, you, know? you know, that's crazy, so nothing today. Nothing today. That's crazy. Nothing. And we were using like a pack bait, corn. Uh-huh, everything. Everything we I tell you what, man, this place is just rough. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> you know, very rough. It's you know, rough, when you first yes. started coming here, 
you know, we caught a couple of carp. Okay. Nice, right okay. Spot, gotcha. Know? But uh, wow. This is I see. Well, like yeah. I say, it has been more than a pleasure. Oh, absolutely. So, yes. Oh, absolutely. I got to go back fishing yeah, too. Yeah. I look at you yep. YouTube settings every day. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate day, it for all the love know? and support. All right. Yep. And I hope you catch some more fish over here, man. Today well, we'll I'm having... Back. You know, we'll, we'll have to come back. You know, good but, stuff, uh, good stuff. Yeah. Well, I gotta go back to fishing too. You okay, guys have a nice yeah. day, all right? Yeah, you too. Right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, brothers and sisters. It is quite funny, isn't it? Other YouTubers when making sponsor videos, ah, they will always make sure that they will go to a body of water filled with fish so that they can catch some nice fish to show people, you know, that the lures or the fishing products that they're using actually work. Well, not EPF. As you guys saw in this video, actually you didn't see the whole thing, but the whole day I only caught eight fish, seven bluegill, the Lepomis macrocitus, and one black crappie, the Pomoxis nigromaculatus. The situation over here is so dire, like, Crappie anglers know about this. When you go out there and you catch a crappie, chances are you have found the school of crappie, so you are going to catch more crappie, right? Not here. That one black crappie, I kept trying for more and more crappie. No crappie ever showed up. I think we were so lucky to actually catch that one black crappie over here. It is crazy. Rest of the day, I mean, I've been fishing here for six hours, by the way, I would like to emphasize. Rest of the day, I saw two northern snakeheads, the Shana Argus. There are snakeheads here at FDR Park. And they didn't want anything to do with any lures. They were protecting fry too. Once again, if an, if an angler has targeted northern snakeheads when they're protecting fry, you know that you can cast whatever lure in front of them, and usually they will look at it, pow, and they will strike because they think the lure is going to eat their babies, right? <laughs> Not here. I cast the Eurotaco stuff right in front of them and they came, you know, they, they knew the instinct came in, right? They went to the lures, they took a look and they just turned away because those fish are so used to being caught and released that when they saw the lure, they didn't strike right away out of protection. No, they actually stopped by checked out the lure, looked at twice, and then they were like, nah, this is not the real deal, so I'm not gonna bite it. This is the type of place that the FDR park is. No joke. I mean, I encourage you guys to come here and give it a try. I'm not saying you guys are not going to catch fish. I'm just saying that this is a very, very tough location to, to fish. And if I was here today and I wasn't really doing a promotional video for Aero Tackle, right? Chances are I would have brought down the night crawlers, the live bait, because this over here, okay, that is how you maximize your chances of catching fish. These fish are just too smart, you know, when it comes to recognizing yours. They, they know what is fake. They're not going to bite it, right? The fish that were not so smart, they were already got over harvested. People took them home to eat. The fish that remained in this place, well, they've been caught and released so much that their instincts are just 100% sharp. Super smart, right? They got max int. You, you get what I'm saying? Max int status in this place. So this is it for today. I am defeated, you know. Uh, when I came here today with the Aero Tackle products to do the promo video, I already realized that it wasn't going to be like, wow, you know, phenomenal, right? I am already happy enough that I didn't get skunked, all right? This is how happy I am right now. Seven bluegill, one black crappie on the Aero Tackle micro finesse for the fish to even bite on a lure in this place. That already means that the lure works. So you know what? If you have never used before, check out Aero Tackle, man. Grab some products. And once again, make sure you use my promo code, get 10% off, you know, save yourself some money. Today was a tough day of fishing. I knew it was going to be a tough day of fishing. And even the locals who were in this video vouched for me. They didn't catch anything either. <laughs> I even got mugged if you guys saw it. But anyways, this is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Tie lines and take it easy.